all those people in Brazil, for all his fans around the world, he will always be young. Ayrton Senna will always be fast. He'll never be old. He will always be the champion of Brazil and of the world. The grief, even today, may be the greatest statement I can make about what he did. When I meet a Brazilian, soon after that, I have to say, I knew Ayrton Senna, and I interviewed him over a hundred times. I was on a cruise in the Nile River, and there were 33 Brazilians on this cruise with my wife and I. And I told one of them that I had interviewed Ayrton Senna a hundred times. Sometime during the next week, every one of those Brazilians had to come to me. They had to talk to someone who had talked to Ayrton Senna. They even had to touch someone who had touched, who had shaken hands with Ayrton Senna. It was like I had known and talked to and touched and shaken hands with God. And they had to do the same through me. These were people who were eight and ten years old when Ayrton won his championships. And as children, they were taught that this was one of the greatest men that lived with a Brazilian passport. When you dedicate 15 years to a sport, you're wondering, did you spend those years wisely? And I think I did. And I, and I know that Ayrton Senna thought he had. Can, can you imagine? I mean, in, in, I would have loved to see Ayrton with children and grandchildren out on that beach. But can you imagine hearing a, a news report? Um, Ayrton Center dies of cancer after a long battle at the age of 50. I don't know. It's in some poetic, unjust way. It was almost fitting that he died in a race car. 